So the water is entering the bottom of these fluid ice sand filters. And each filter set for the tank is running about 2,200 gallons a minute. It fluidizes up through that sand bed, lifts that sand bed. That's where the beneficial bacteria is growing. And there is where we do that nitrification. Although Bell reuses over 99% of its water in an elaborate recirculation and filtration system, a small amount does need to be expelled from the facility. After filtering out solid material, which is composted by worms to create Bell's worm casting product, the remaining wastewater bubbles up into the end of a constructed wetland for its final treatment. See how it's an S-shape, Mary? See how it's, it's a flow from one end to the other? It's clearing out and then and that's the end. See, it goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So I've read a lot about artificial wetlands being an opportunity to augment and all sorts of different waterways, sewage, everything. Um, what do you have here and, and how is it working for Bell? Yeah, so the man-made wetlands uh, was the actually designed by a company called JF New Environmental Management, Cardinal New now, but it's 11 different pods and what you're doing is actually treating water through a man-made wetland. And the water comes in one end and it circulates and has retention time through this three acres of wetland here. But it, this is essentially doing that nitrification cycle much like your biofilter will indoors. Um, it, it can um, reduce your ammonia, reduce your nitrite, reduce your nitrate. All of these effects that we need to clean up the water can be done right here by this man-made wetland. And did you have to do any particular engineering or all you had to do was make this snake-like progression of pods and let the plants do their work? We actually did do some engineering, Cardno New or JF New did, uh, to get a retention time of how many gallons you want to flow through it an hour or a day. So there is some engineering design work that would need to be done for every circumstance on met, on wetlands. And at the other end, it's at safe the other to... end is our MPDS permit is our discharge, and uh, it works great. Uh, out the other end, um, we're able to meet that permit that's required for discharge. Does that mean we can go right back into a waterway? Yeah, it actually goes into a waterway, which ends up into the river.